Hello everyone, it's your girl Javaya with Gifting Hands by Javaya. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hello, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber and a part of the Gifted family, the Gifted gang, gang, welcome back fam, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more of a travel vlog style video. I know a lot of you love those kinds of videos, so I'm definitely going to try to bring more of that kind of content to my channel. Before we get into the travel vlog, I don't know if y'all can hear it or see it, but your girl is not feeling well. I am feeling under the weather. I'm not sure if it was from the trip to Cali with 50, 60, 70 degree weather and then coming back to New Jersey with below zero degree weather. I have no idea, but I am not feeling well. I have been taking medication and trying to stay hydrated with fluids, but I just wanted to let y'all know that you are not feeling well. So please excuse my voice and my appearance, okay? Now, for those of you who do not know, I do own an Epson short color F. 570 dye sublimation printer which is the 24 inch dye sublimation printer by epson my husband surprised me with one back in 2020 and it was amazing i was using my printer to its full potential until one day a piece of metal got stuck in the printer which caused some hardware malfunctions and so because i was covered under warranty i was able to receive a replacement printer which is the printer that i currently have right now now that printer was doing its thing too i was you know using it i was making money from it especially during graduation season however i wasn't using the printer as much as i should have been using it um i really didn't have a high demand for larger prints at the time and so honestly i'm not sure what was the cause of the issues that i've experienced but my cyan and my yellow was clogged and then in addition to that the capping station which is the motor of the printer died and so it was just a big mess. It was, it was, everything was just going wrong. And no matter what I've done to troubleshoot, you know, to resolve some of the issues, even calling F the experts at Epson, no one was able to figure out how to repair the problem. And now at this time, I'm not under warranty anymore because Epson only gives you one year warranty. However, you can purchase an extended warranty, which I wasn't aware of. I did not know that I was able to purchase an extended warranty or I would have done that, right? So now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to get my printer fixed because number one, I don't have money to just purchase a whole new printer. And number two, sending it to an Epson uh, certified service center, the, the nearest one to me is two hours away. So that's gas. Then I had to get it diagnosed and that was an, a, a fee. Then I would have to pay for the repair itself. That's an additional fee. It was just, I'm like, I don't know what, I don't have, I'm, you know, to some people, it may not be a lot of money, but for me, it's a lot of money. I got a lot of financial obligations that need to be met here, like my, in my, in my household. And so I didn't have extra money sitting around to get a new printer or get repaired. So I prayed and I asked God, you know, for clarity, if this printer is meant for me to have, you will find a way for me to have it. Um, no matter if I reached out to, you know, some family members to help get a, a printer or get it repaired, some, you know, some resources that I have, no one was able to extend the helping hand. And I'm not upset with anyone. It's, you know, this is for me. So I'm not put, placing the blame on anyone. But I will say that God did make a way for me and I was able to get my printer repaired and hopefully working like new. So this is what this travel vlog is going to be. It's going to be you guys coming along with me to go pick it up from the Epson Certified Service Center in Farmingdale, New York, coming back home with me and then we're going to test print to see how it performs. So if this is something that you all are interested in, please stay tuned. I think it's going to be a good one, a whole little vibe. If you like my content and, and it's of value, please consider subscribing to my channel. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time your girl uploads a new video. And so without further ado, let's get into the travel vlog. Let's go. 
Hey y'all, it's your girl Javaya with Giving Hands by Javaya. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already part of the gifted family, the gifted gang, gang, welcome back, fam. Welcome back. Y'all, I am currently at the gas station right now. I'm filling up my car because I have to go pick up my Epson printer, my um short color f570 dye sublimation printer which i had to get repaired at an epson certified service center and here's the thing i'm gonna take y'all along with me because i had to travel two hours away to pick up my printer so this is going to be like a travel vlog kind of thing and um I'm going to let y'all know what's up, so stay tuned. Gifted family, gifted gang, gang, we made it to our destination. I am here in Farmingdale, New York at an Epson certified service center picking up my Epson Short Color F570 dye sublimation printer, which is a 24 inch dye sublimation printer by Epson. And y'all, number one, that was a long ride. <laughs> number two, your girl don't feel well. So if you hear me, sniffling and, and stuff like that i'm under the weather the weather is not making it any better either it is pouring down raining but i needed to get my printer because i need to get to this bag in 2024 i need my bag i need to make my money with my epson printer so that i can see a return on investment for this repair okay because i'm paying a pretty penny for it that's why it's so important guys to make sure you um you purchase warranty like an extended warranty um if you can i didn't know about the extended warranty um my printer got messed up from um uh, the motor and the print head got a little messed up i was not using that printer as often as i should it may have collected some dust the inks might have clogged i don't know but it is repaired and i am here to pick it up so let's go <laughs> y'all it's raining i got my hood on I am here at the Epson Certified Service Center. Walking inside. Hello. Yes, I'm Javaya here to pick up my oh, yes. Epson Short Color F570. Guys, I am here picking up my baby. She was all messed up. Hi, Jack. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm hanging in there. Hanging in there. And you must be rich. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Nice He's to meet man. you. Where He's you the doing? man. He's All the right. repair man. Jack, can you? It's 725 is the total. You no tax. Because she's paying cash. Paying I'm cash. paying cash. Yep. So it's oh. just 725 minus the full 12. Yeah. That would be really balanced. I'm getting a discount because I'm paying cash. So when you pay cash, you pay a little bit less. Pay cash. No, 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 but just take the tax. I know, I, 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 I just have to pay the tax, not the 45, just the tax. I'm taking off. 
The 45 is already taken. Okay, guys, look at this. I don't want to give this away, but I have to because it's business as usual, and I need my printer. There she go. I need my printer to get fixed. Need help? Perfect. Sorry, no, no, it's a good printer. It works. <laughs> it works. It works. It's not, it's not dead. It's not dead anymore. Thank you so much, Rich. My baby is out of recovery. <laughs> and thank you, Jack, as well. Alright guys. It's very little. Really? Oh, I'm so excited. I can get back to work. Thank you guys so much. Take care guys. Alright guys, this is the repair shop right here. I'm not gonna put the address, um, but it is Arditos um printer repair epsis mamaki you guys seen that i was with mamaki uh when i went to the expo in california and brother printers they are in um new york farmingdale new york okay amazing amazing job amazing job time to come back home well time to go back home and get my baby set up let's go so now i'm back in my car i'm about to head back home to new jersey it's gonna take me about an hour and a half to two hours to get back home so yes your girl is traveling a total of four hours to get that printer okay <laughs> four hours but um yeah i'm about to head back home i think i'm gonna stop at mcdonald's to get something to eat because i'm hungry i didn't eat anything all morning i left my house around nine o'clock and i got here around 11 ish around something around there like maybe a little at the 11 because there was some traffic but put my seatbelt on um and now i'm about to be on the way i'm just taking a breather Woosa, woosa. <laughs> and um, i'm about to be on the road so i'll see y'all when i get back to new jersey or y'all want to come with me to mcdonald's call me to mcdonald's let go all right, y'all, I made it here. So let's go to the drive-thru. Let's see what I'm gonna get this time. Hi, good afternoon, Hola. Hi, no thank you. What'd you like? Um, may I have a six-piece chicken nugget with honey mustard? Okay. A medium fry. Uh-huh. And um, a small Coke, please. And can I get can I get a bacon cheeseburger with no onions and no pickles? I'm sorry, what was that? A bacon cheeseburger with no onions and no pickles, please. Anything else? That would be all. And can the French fries be fresh? I like fresh fries. I'm good. Yeah. Alrighty, thank you. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Man, it's expensive to eat these days. All right, let's go. Let's pay. I was on Get my little money out. Here you go, my dear. I'm out here looking like nobody love me. I look crazy. I ain't got no makeup on. I'm sick. Thank you. You too. So I'm about to fuel my body real quick and get back on the road. I'm taking y'all on the journey with me. Hey, I'm doing good in you. Thank you. Sure. Which one is it? Number one. Number one. Okay. All right, y'all, so I asked for some fresh fries and they are going to make me some fresh fries. And now I got to park 
in um one of the little parking sections you know when you gotta wait for fresh food or wait for a food your food to come out she said one so this is one right here the reserve drive through so i'm gonna just be parking here right quick and i'm gonna wait for my food to come and then we're gonna be out <laughs> get the game Uh-huh. Ooh. Hot. Mm-hmm. About to tear this up. Um, the little sweet lady came out and gave me my bag of food. I had to test it out. Oh, I got a piece of hair right here. And these french fries. Mm-hmm. Get you some fresh fries for McDonald's, okay? If you got to pick up your printer from getting repaired, it's from my hair shedding every goddamn way. If you got to pick up your printer from being repaired, make a stop at McDonald's and make sure you get some fresh fries. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fool. Y'all. I'm having a good day today. God is so good. I didn't even think I would be able to get my printer fixed because I don't have money like that. You know what I'm saying? But God made it happen for me because it was meant for me to have my printer. So now I'm going to go back home, cut it up, and we're going to do our first print together. Okay, I'll go. And then... So now take off the garbage bag we got it in the house finally and now i'm about to go ahead and bring it in my trash studio look at this i can't wait guys there goes my baby oh girl look at you <laughs> excited if you know that song you already know how i'm feeling right now like my baby is home okay i am so excited okay so here is the print out that the repair guys printed for me just to make sure everything all of the colors were good to go there was no obstructions in the lines and i'm so excited that i don't see any everything looks so good here are the nozzle checks they printed out too nozzle checks and everything looks so good and i also have my receipt here i'll go over that as well so now let's turn on the printer i went ahead and plugged the printer in without showing that on camera so let's go ahead and turn this on okay let's move this out the way Oh yeah, uh-huh. When I used to turn this on, when it was defective, I heard the defectiveness. Like I knew for a fact that something was wrong because it would make this crazy sound. Not like the typical printer sounds like this. 
when it's initializing, it was making some crazy sounds. Okay, that's good. Oh, closed front cover. Okay, let me see. This is the new print head. Oh my goodness, y'all. This looks so amazing. I can't wait, y'all. All right, so let me close that up. I'm definitely going to print something out for sure just to make sure everything is 100% good to go. Look at that. We good money. We good money. We good money. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go. Y'all, we're printing. We are printing. Okay. Let's see how this prints come out. Y'all, this is real time printing. Let's see. I tried to find a design with some yellow in it and some blue. Oh my goodness. It's coming out so dope. Yes, 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 yes. We're printing. can save all of this extra paper here I just wanted to test print it with the actual Epson uh, paper that I have and look at that Woo -wee! <laughs> period stop playing let go yes I got my printer back and it works and it works I got my printer back and it works <laughs> Okay, 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 okay,
that's just it is what it is okay you gotta surround yourself around good people good things happen to good people and my total came up to six hundred and eighty dollars okay and here it is i paid that with cash and i honestly just have the lord to thank i'm just so 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 happy okay another thing guys this happened to me with a true dye sublimation printer which means this can happen to any printer whether you convert printers or if you have a true dye sublimation printer things are bound to happen but what's important is to ensure that you keep your repair cost or your replacement cost as low as possible. If you convert your Epson printers into dye sublimation printers, that's your business, respectfully, okay? You have to do what's going to work best for you. But just keep in mind, once Epson realized that you are not using genuine Epson inks, you automatically void out your warranty. You can't get no replacements. You barely can get any assistance with them, okay? So just keep that in mind. At least I was able to take my printer to an Epson certified service center for repair. I'm not sure if you all will be able to do that with a converted Epson printer. So just keep that in mind. And also with the uh, Epson Short Color F570, you don't only have to print 24 inches. There are uh, feeds, slot feeds, where you can print with your 8.5 by 11, your 11 by 17, and 13 by 19 dye sublimation paper, okay? You do not only have to use the 24-inch size. I have an, a Sawgrass SG-1000, and I use that printer quite often as well. But now that I got my printer back, my 24-inch printer, I'm going to be using, it's going to be a balance, baby, because I am not spending no more money on any repairs, okay? So I just wanted to just give you some insights. You already know I am a very honest person. I keep it a buck with all of my peoples just so that you guys know what it's like running a business and how we face a lot of adversities and how we persevere and we overcome them, okay? This, this is real life, all right? This can happen to anybody. So I just wanted to just let you know that, all right? All right, y'all. Right, so here I am at my heat press because this isn't going to be like a tutorial or super, you know, specific tutorial based on sublimating a mouse pad. I'm just going to hold my camera. All right. So I got a piece of parchment paper on the bottom to collect any of the ink fallout. Now I'm going to press this at 400 degrees for 55 seconds. Medium pressure. All right. Whoa. O M G. Hot, 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 hot. Why am I picking this up? Why, why? I don't know. Look at this, y'all. Ooh, wee. <laughs> oh, we back in business, baby. Yes, sir. Y'all. Do y'all see these colors? Whoa. We back in business, baby. We are back in business, baby. Look at this. Amazing. I'm so happy that I got my printer back, okay? So, so, so happy. If you are interested in purchasing one of these beautiful Epson Short Color F570 dye sublimation printers. I will leave the link for you down below in the description for you to check out. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, family, get the gang, gang. Later.